As I can't seem to let go of summer, I'm still all about the neon nails. Like, don't get me wrong, love fall. Like, bring on the pumpkin spice everything. It just looks like summer outside. Oh my gosh, are those leaves red? Oh, that's depressing. All right, fine. I'm a little out of season, but you know what? I'm gonna be that last person standing, just sitting in the pool with a floaty toy and my neon nails being like, guys, please, no, I'm not ready. Except for the pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice is welcome. Hello everyone, I am here today, as promised, from a video I did, I think last week or the week before, here with a drugstore haul. And I was at Walmart buying this stuff, the lady, she was judging me. She was very good about it, but like, there was some serious judgment. Yes, I know, I love makeup. So I have a bunch of new stuff from the drugstore that I wanna share with you guys today, and we're just gonna dive right into it. We're gonna go over some of the products, and in two weeks, in case you are new to my hauls, I'm going to be doing an update for you guys, sharing with you my favorite products, my least favorite products, what worked, what didn't, all that fun stuff. So without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so the first thing I wanna start with is what I'm most excited about, which is the fact that e.l.f. is now in Walmarts in Canada. It just sometimes I feel like the unpopular kid at school from like the 90s movie and the really, really hot guy at school looks and says hey at you and you're like, oh my gosh, I know who I am. So yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty stoked. The first one is the e.l.f. Illuminating Palette and this is a powder illuminating palette that holds four shades of color designed to mix and match a custom blend of radiance and blah, 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 light reflecting on the cheekbones, AKA highlighting palette. So we have four shades right here. We have a very pale shade, pink shade, sort of a bronzy shade, and then a copper tone shade. <laughs> copper tone, <laughs> sunscreen. So let's swatch these. Whoa, those are a lot creamier than I was anticipating. And then they're not highlighting at all. They look really powdery on the skin. Like it's, they're very smooth in terms of the consistency, but it's like chunking up and like just looks really streaky. So far, not super impressed with this, but we'll test it out on the cheeks and we'll see what happens. The next two e.l.f. products that I got are both for the face. One is an oil-free flawless finish foundation. All right, I'm, I'm kind of confused by this. It doesn't say anywhere that it has sunscreen in it, but it says on here, apply generously 15 minutes before sun exposure and reapply every two hours. That's weird. That's really weird. All right, Elf, well, well, we'll try this out anyway. Although I will not be buying this again if I have to apply it every two hours because ain't nobody got time for that. And then lastly is a concealer stick. This is supposed to be lightweight formula. It's supposed to do even everything out. It's supposed to be really great under the eyes as well as all over the face. So I will play around with this. Test this up for you guys and let you know what's up. Next up is an all-in-one palette that I saw. This is from Revlon and it is their Eyes Cheek Lip Palette and it has everything all in one palette. This would be great for traveling. So I really, I really hope this is good. It's three different shades. They had a berry tone, bronze tone, and then nudes. And I have the romantic nudes. So inside it comes with six different shadows, four lip colors, a blush, and then a variety of different applying the product things, or <laughs> AKA brushes, Rachel, they're brushes. From first glance, the shades look really nice. I'm a little bit excited about this because it has, it looks like a bit of a sheen to it, which I think would be really pretty on the cheeks. Um, I am a little disappointed that there's only one shade on here that is not shimmery from the eyeshadows. I wish there was a lighter tone that would be good for the crease. There's only, it looks like, I guess this would be like a liner shade um, and everything else is super shimmery. So kind of disappointed about that, but we'll see how this swatches. All right. The swatching is not too bad. I would say the darker colors do swatch a lot better than the lighter colors, but I'll see how they look on the eyes. Um, the formulas themselves aren't as buttery and smooth as like the e.l.f. ones that I swatched earlier. They're a little bit more on the dusty chalky side, um, but I'm gonna experiment it with it because I think that having something like this for traveling or just having at your desk and not having to touch anything else if you don't want to would be kind of nice. Next up is a new foundation from Rimmel. This is their lasting finish 25 hour powder foundation that is waterproof, built coverage that can go from wet to dry. It's all day transfer resistant and shine control. So I'll test this out wet and dry and we'll see what's up. Next up are two different contour duos. One is from L'Oreal, one is from Maybelline and I wanted to test them out, see which one was better. One is a powder formula, which I have tested. All right, fine, I tested it. I tested it once. And it's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Contour Contour and Highlight Palette. This is in the shade Light. And I gotta say this chick on the front, it gave me like a death stare is kind of unnerving. I felt like she was like looking into my soul when I was opening it up to contour and she's like you better get this perfect the brush itself it kind of looks oh my gosh it looks like a little fish but it's interesting because it's supposed to apply as if you were going to swipe it on and then just immediately put it on so it'll go on and it'll have a contour underneath it'll have the highlight on top and bam you're done so i like that i will say it is quite dusty when you're first applying it like this so you have to be kind of careful um but i'm gonna play with it a little bit more and experiment with it but so far 
kind of an interesting concept. And then the other one is from Maybelline and it is their Master Contour V-Shape Duo Stick. So it has a contour on one side and it has the highlight on the other side. I have a feeling that these are going to end up being very smudged and blended and it's just gonna end up being like a, like a bronzer stick by the end. But I'm gonna give it a good shot. We'll see what happens and I'll keep you posted. Next up for two lip products that actually launched in the springtime but I wasn't able to get my hands on them so I finally found them in store and they are the Maybelline Shine Shots and one is a glassy top coat and one is a prismatic top coat. I believe these launch at the same time as the Color Jolt and you're supposed to apply them on top of the Color Jolt if you're choosing and it's supposed to add this sort of different dimensional effect to the lips. So I thought I'd play around with that a little bit, show you some swatches in my update and let you guys know what my favorite way of wearing them are which one is my favorite of the two. This one looks very glittery. I'm really hoping that it's not like little kid makeup kind of glittery. And the Shine Shot, I've heard a lot of good things about to get a really nice glossy lip, but I thought that would be a fun little test, so we will see. Now onto a mascara that I was really excited about when I bought it until I brought it home, and I need to share this with you guys because I think this is really not very nice of companies to do this. And don't get me wrong, I love marketing. I love the whole like eye-catching words and something to draw people in because this totally did it with this product, but it's not true, which is irritating me. And that is the Almay One Coat Thickening Mascara. So I was kind of browsing around Walmart and then I saw this product and I was like, eh. And then I turned back around, like I did a double take. I looked at it and I was like, One Coat, okay. Okay, you have my attention now, Alme. So I picked it up, put it in my cart, and continued on. And then I brought it home. And I turned it over, and I read the back. Let's go through this together, shall we? One Coat Thickening Mascara builds 100% thicker lashes for one clump-free application. With an asterisk at the bottom. Use two coats, 25 strokes each. One coat, two coats. One coat, two coats. This is really misleading if it's actually you need two coats of 25 strokes each. That is very different than one coat in my opinion. So I um, just wanted to kind of give you guys a heads up as I purchased this, thinking it was gonna be one coat and it was not. I will still test it out because I bought it, but really kind of disappointed in that. All right, back into positive things. Next up is some new products from NYX, and these are their NYX Lid Lingeries Eye Tints. I got three different shades. We have Rose Pearl, Night Glow, and White Lace, and I wanted to see what they look like on the eye because they look beautiful. All right, so we got a little sponge applicator here. This one is, which color is this? The Rose Pearl color. Okay, it applies a little bit on the streaky side but then it blends out much nicer. The product itself, when you look at it on the actual applicator, it looks very thick and clumpy, but when you smooth it on, it's very light, very serum-y, almost watery in consistency, which is gonna be nice when you're trying to apply it to your lids. But that is what Rose Pearl looks like, which looks like it's not very pearlized, it's very subtle. So I don't know how I feel about that one. It might look entirely different as soon as I apply it to the lids, and I might love it, but we'll test out the rest of them. I'll let you guys know which my favorite ones are and how I best uh, apply them and all that fun stuff. Next Next up is a little shout out for my Canadian girls. I'm not sure if this is available elsewhere, but I want to include it in the haul because I have been getting so many requests to talk about this brand, and that is the Joe Fresh Beauty line. And they have a bunch of different products. They have eyeshadows, highlights, foundations, there's everything that you can think of. It's in the, I would say the mid range in terms of price compared to like drugstore brands. Think of it like a, like a Maybelline or a L'Oreal or something like that. So one of the products I wanted to test out is their highlight stick. Whoa, Nelly. <laughs> that is that is very highlighty. Let's blend that out. Still a little bit on the light side, and that's coming from someone who is usually very pale. Like I can see myself wearing that when I don't have any self tanner on. I think that might be very pretty. And the other product is an illuminating primer. This is in the shade Champagne. Ooh, yes, like that. That feels very similar to like my Becca backlight priming filter. I don't know if you guys can see, that. I don't know if that picks up on camera yet, but like I'm going to play around with that and I'm gonna see what that looks like, like half my face with the Becca, half the face with this. Maybe it'll be a good dupe. All right, a couple more products. Whew, I bought a lot of stuff. Next up is another mascara. This was sent to me as a press sample and this is the Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Angel Mascara. All right, so it has a push up wing brush that sweeps lashes to the side while lifting and plumping from the roots. So it only has the bristles on the one side and the bristles are very short towards the inside and then they flare out, as I said, in sort of the wing shape to kind of flick your lashes out and have that beautiful winged-like look to the lashes. So we will play around with this. I am excited. This looks kind of neat. And then finally, the last product. This is by Maybelline. Maybelline, it is their Master Strobing Stick, which is a nice highlighting stick, sort of a like a pinky tone, more on the uh, cool tone side. Most of the ones that I see are more 
warm toned and champagne-y and pretty, but I really like the whole like shell pink color, so we'll see what this looks like. And that's everything for this haul. Give it a thumbs up if you love drugstore hauls, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the update that I'm gonna do in two weeks time and let you guys know what is up with all these products, which one's the great ones, which are the terrible ones, and everything in between. And um, I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing week. Let me know in the comment section below what your favorite new products have been, and whether they're drugstore or otherwise. And if you have any video requests, I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing week so far, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you, girls. Mwah!